Welcome to this video presentation here at Wimbledon Carriage Company. And here we have the Lexus UX250H. This is a 2023 23 plate, uh, so a very new car. Uh, I'm gonna start off by showing you around the outside of it. Uh, first of all, and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside as well. From the outside, you can see it's a five-door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. We're going to start off inside the boot space first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you'll see we have reversing sensors. This car's also got a reversing camera as well. Plenty of boot space, of course, and that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further again. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it from there. But now that we've done a full circle, you can see, as you may well expect, of course, based on the car's age, it is in fantastic condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. Over on the right-hand side, first of all, we have the coolant temperature gauge and fuel gauges. In the center, uh, we have a digital readout for the speedometer. Beneath that, it will show you what gear this car is in. It's an automatic, so of course, we are in park at the moment. Um, then you've got the gauge in that section, which will show you whether the hybrid motor battery is charging, whether you're driving in eco mode or using the power band for the car. On the left-hand side, we have the main trip computer, which includes the total miles, as you can see, they are only 3,879, so very low mileage uh, for the car's age. Uh, and then you can change the information that's displayed above that using buttons on the steering wheel for various different menus. And the buttons in question are over on the left-hand side of the steering wheel just here, along with the phone controls and stereo controls. And on the right-hand side, uh, we have our cruise control, uh, we've also got lane departure warning system, forward collision warning system as well, so plenty of safety features available to you. Over in the centre, you'll then find the main screen for the vehicle. Uh, so as you can see, we have satellite navigation. It's all touchscreen, so you can access your menus in that panel to the right-hand side. Uh, so for example, your audio menu is directly below your satellite navigation. And up on this screen, you can access the different ways in which you can listen to your music. So DAB and FM radio, you can pair up your phone for Bluetooth audio. There are certain Lexus friendly apps that can be projected up onto this screen as well. Pairing your phone is easy. Just hit the phone icon and follow the instructions on screen from there. Once you've done that, you'll be able to make and receive phone calls, of course, and stream your music wirelessly. We have the uh, car icon for various different bits of vehicle and trip computer information. Uh, you then have a kind of a notifications menu, as you can see, voice activation available as well, and a settings menu down on that bottom right-hand corner. The main volume for the stereo is this physical dial to the right-hand side of the screen. And on the subject of physical dials, over in the center, we can change the driving setup of the car with this dial. And over on the right-hand side, you can turn your traction control on and off with the button on the end of that dial. In the center, below the screen, we have our dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger and driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed from up on here. You can also determine where you'd like the air to be distributed. You can turn your air conditioning on and off or just hit auto. In doing so, the car will now take full control to maintain the temperatures that you've asked for. And you can hear it starting to do that in the background. You can override that manually by making any adjustment you wish to. So in this case, I've made adjustments to the fan and you'll see the automatic has now gone off. This button starts and stops the car. Underneath that, we have two USB-C inputs, two cup holders, the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox, of course. We can control our heated driver and passenger seat from on here and our heated steering wheel as well. Uh, and then these last two buttons will enable you to, if there's enough charge, force the vehicle into electric vehicle mode with the EV button just here. Uh, and we have an auto hold function uh, for the handbrake as well. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see it for yourself and have a test drive, or you'd like a bespoke live video walk around of the car, please feel free to give us a call here at Wimbledon Carriage Company. We'd love to hear from you soon.